Hey, Black Dragon. Oh, that's me. Hey, y'all, I'm Black Dragon. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Black Dragon Biker TV here on Instagram. And you can follow us uh, on our YouTube channel, Black Dragon Biker TV, on our Facebook channel, Black Dragon Biker, and uh, on our online podcast, The Dragon's Lair, L-A-I-R, Motorcycle Chaos, The Dragon's Lair, Motorcycle Chaos, wherever you get your podcasts. So... I uh, I just got this um, message um, the other day. Um, something like this. It it said, "Hey, um, we made a deal. We're an RC, and we made a deal to um, uh, that we would um, go to mm -hmm. a, a, as part of getting our motorcycle club, our our, our riding club, blessed." We made a deal that uh, we would uh, go to the uh, one percenters' parties uh, and support them. And this was a condition that uh, we made to uh, um, be uh, an RC. We, we made this condition and we said that we would do it. And then uh, the next thing was, well, uh, what do you think about that, Black Dragon? And... Uh, it's like, uh, you know, what do you mean, what do I think? You know, what do you think about this black dragon? Is this something we should do? And I was like, well, damn. Uh, what do you mean, what do I think? Is this something you should do? Bro, you've already done it. You made a deal that to get your RC up and running and to get it blessed, that you would attend functions uh, of the... Uh, of the uh, one percenter club that blessed you that you would support them and attend their functions so what does it matter what i think about it or even what you think about it at this point uh what does all that matter you have already given your um uh, uh word that you were going to go and do that and so what i think is when you give your word to somebody you, you have to keep your word um, because your word is all you have. And um, uh, there's nothing more important than your word. And when you give your word to uh, something like a, a dominant or one percenter motorcycle club, whatever you want to call it, when you give your word to something like that, you, you got to keep that word. Um, so it's like if you make a deal with the devil uh, and I, you know, you see this in all the movies. Um, you know, the devil went down to Georgia one day, he was looking for a soul to steal. He was running out of time, running behind. He was ready to make a deal. When, when you make a deal, uh, whenever you see people that make the, the deals with the devil, the thing that's always funny about it is, uh, after they get their pot of gold, after they get their, uh, uh, naked women, uh, make the corporate CEO, uh, live for 99.9.5 years. Funny thing is the devil is always good about keeping the deal. Because at the end of the deal, he's going to come and he's going to want your soul. Hey, bro, I kept my end of the bargain. I want I want your soul. So um, when you make a deal with anybody, uh, you've got to give your part of the deal. So the interesting thing is you made a deal with these guys. And after you made that deal, uh, now you're upset. What's up, Sawyer? I'm doing good. How are you? So now you're upset and you're asking me, what do I think about it? What if I told you, well, I think it's a horrible idea. Uh, I wouldn't do it. So what are you going to do now? Not show up? Uh, and what's going to happen is when you don't show up, um, folks are going to, um, uh, they're going to want their blessing back. And yeah, I've seen that happen. So, uh, you got to start out like you can hold out. You, you gotta, uh, you gotta start out doing the things when you say you're going to do something, you got to do it. Uh, someone says, never make a deal that you can't uphold when it's time to do your part. And that part, that part right there. So I, you know, you got to think about it. Hey, listen, um, I've got a top secret security clearance and I can't be hanging out at your one percent or clubhouse. I mean, if that's your deal, then, you, I mean, if that's what's going on with you, then you don't make that deal. Or, hey, man, uh, 
I, I don't uh, I don't like you guys. I don't want to hang out with y'all. So they may say, well, you don't get your blessing then. Uh, and so that's what you have to deal with. Or they may, or, or you might say, well, is there anything else we can do? Because that, that we can't do, that we're not going to do. But once you've made this deal, whatever the deal is, and a lot of you guys do that to get your blessings, you agree to become support clubs, you agree to become uh, hang-around clubs, you, you agree to all sorts of things. And, and then once you get that blessing... Uh, that diamond club never sees you again, but they don't forget. Uh, a lot of times they show up when you least expect it saying, Hey bro, we ain't seen y'all at nothing. Uh, and we're getting ready to remove our blessing. So as quickly as you can get a blessing, you can get one taken away just that quickly. As quickly as you can, uh, uh, be brought on, you can be brought off. So, uh, it's, it's a good thing to, I, you know, I say you got to keep your word. You got to start off like you can hold off or start out like you can hold out, uh, be about what you say you're going to be about uh, and and do uh, what you say you're going to do. Bottom line. If you can't do that, then don't don't hit me up asking me, hey, what do I do now that I've made this deal that I, I can't. What do you think about it? I think. That uh, you should keep your word, whatever your word is. And if you cannot keep your word, man, and, and you know, this happened. It, it happened to me uh, as a young president. It's kind of funny where I came from in San Diego. Uh, we were a brother club to a one percenter nation. So, uh all this stuff was done long before I came to the club. So when I came out to Atlanta, uh, there was a whole lot I didn't know about clubs and how they worked. And I was a young president, and I was given the opportunity to, uh, to, to be a support club for Major Diamond. And you know, I, I thought that that was a brotherhood offer. Uh, and so I was like, well, uh, that's, that's amazing. Uh, you know, we're, we're brothers over there with this club and over here, we don't mind being your brother club. Didn't understand. So I, I was talking to another club and I was saying, you know, what about all this support club thing is, and, and then I got an explanation as to what a support club was. And I went back to that club and I said, Listen, I, I had some faulty information uh, when I agreed to do this with you guys. And uh, that's, that, that's not something we're interested in. Uh, it, we, we would be your brother club. You wear our heart patch and, and we'll wear yours. But, but now that I understand what a support patch is, there ain't no way in hell I'm doing that. And uh, the answer came back, well, hey, you already agreed to it. You don't have no choice. Hey, we all got choices. We got choices out here in the world. And uh, it's not my choice to do that. And I am just positive that you can relay that message um, to, to whoever your higher-ups are, whatever the case may be. And I tell you what, uh, be happy to come check out some of your parties and spend a little money and um, come check out some of your events and ride to some of your events. I'll be more than happy to do that. Uh, but we ain't doing that. And so, hey, it, it didn't go down. And that's how close we came uh, to wearing a uh, support patch ourselves. Uh, one misinformed guy. And that's why I tell you, you need to know MC protocol real, real heavy before you uh, get off into making deals, <laughs> stuff like that. Because um, especially if you're just starting club off, and you don't know what you're doing, you can set your club up to be in a situation that it will be in forever because you didn't know any better because you didn't know MC protocol. So when I tell you guys not to do things, I'm not telling you because I'm so smart and so intelligent and um, all knowing. Uh, I am absolutely uh, uh, not the, um, you know, I, I, I'm not the Holy Grail of uh, of of MC knowledge, 
A lot of times I tell you things like this because I've lived it. And I tell you not what mistakes not to make. I can tell you very easily what doesn't work because I did it and it didn't work. Uh, and then some of you guys can be like, well, well, I did it and it worked. So, hey, so much for what I have to say. So anyway, my grand point here is to be sure to uh, to uh, be able to handle uh, whatever deal it is that you make. And if I have any questions, now would be the time to ask them. Uh, and I'm looking to see if I have any. Somebody had said something I thought earlier as I'm scrolling. Uh, no, I guess not. Hope you're doing good. I'm doing great, man. Thank you so much. Uh, hope all is well. Black Dragon, God bless you. Thank you, Jester357. God bless you as well. I'm doing great, man. A whole bunch of people have waved at me, and um, I've waved at a whole bunch of people. So this is like my first live on here in like a long, long time, and uh, I think I'll do a, a few more of these. So if you have questions, send them to me. My email address is blackdragon at blacksabbathmc.com. There's two Bs and seven. Uh, you can also get me on Instagram. My Instagram is like my name, John Bunch II, but it's J Bunch I I. J Bunch I I. Uh, uh, and um, you can uh, follow my Facebook, Black Dragon Biker, my YouTube, Black Dragon Biker TV, here on Instagram TV, Black Dragon Biker TV, and my podcast, The Dragon's Lair uh, Motorcycle Chaos. Dragon's Lair, as in a place where dragons live, L A I R, Motorcycle Chaos, everywhere you get your podcasts. And my online news magazine is BikerLiberty.com. Make sure to catch us Sunday nights live where I have the round table where we have one percenters, 99 percenters, traditional clubs, motorcycle ministries, you name it, all together at one table discussing the events of the day. That's Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern. You'll love what we're talking about. Listen, thanks for spending a few minutes with me here on Instagram. I'm Black Dragon. That's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comment section below. Thanks for tuning in. And get skinny. Now, how do I turn this damn thing off? It's been, like, way too long. <laughs> uh, hmm. This is, like, so unprofessional. Do I hit the live button? No, that's not the button. Hmm. There's no end button. Oh, don't forget to send money to uh, the uh, Humane Society. Just thought I'd say that. Uh, wow. How do you turn this damn thing off? Is this it? That ain't it. <laughs> oh, wow. You'd think you would know how to turn it off if you started it. What's up, Gutter H Town? Is this Gutter Gutter? Our Gutter? From uh uh from Houston? Hey man, good to see you. You caught me in uh, my live. I don't know how to turn the damn thing off. Um hmm. Maybe you just hit the X here. That might work. Are you sure you want to end the video? Ah! You just hit the X! The X! Don't forget to hit the X! And I'm out. Love you, Gutter. Good to see you, man.